Hey y'all, what is going on? Today is a fabulous Monday and I'm so excited because I've been meaning to do this for a while, for a couple of days, but I've just been so busy that we're gonna do it right now. So what I have here is a DeWalt power drill. You wanna make sure you have a power drill because that will safely and securely get the nails inside the wall to secure your wall shelf. What you see now is the first one that's done, hey. So now I'm gonna move on to my second wall shelf. I wanna place it above the lower one just so I can have that dimensional effect. What you see on the first wall shelf is a measuring ruler. That's very good because it'll tell you if your walls are aligned right. So the third one I'm putting up right here, as you can see, I'm just inserting my nails. I had to do a little dance because I was almost done finally. So I'm just inserting the nails and I'm gonna make sure you get it in there tight and good. Okay, finally I'm done. Now I'm going to insert the last one, the very last one. It was kind of difficult because it was in the hole, but all done. Now you guys, I'm going to do another potting which is my golden pathos that I have propagating in this water for a couple of weeks. It looks about ready to go, so I'm going to repot it. Look how healthy and strong it is. Okay, so I'm gonna pot it in another one of these white jars, which is a drainage jar. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some soil. And you guys, I love to recycle things, so whenever I have like containers in my refrigerator, like egg, egg cartons, like salad cartons, I love to save those. It's very useful for when you're planting. Like for example, like this right here, this plastic, this from a mixed salad container. Like come on now, like utilize what you have. You don't always have to spend money to buy like the little things, you know, just, you know, use what you got. So. I'm just going to mix the soil. And the soil I'm using, it's a Texas-based soil because I currently live in Texas right now. So that's where my home is. And it's a really good soil. I'm gonna show y'all. So if you guys live in Texas, get this potting soil. It's Texas soil and it's for pods. You can use it for pods, planter boxes, outdoor raised beds, hanging baskets, and seed flax. Like, come on now. This is like everything all in one, indoor and outdoor. I have perlite, I have hummus. It has a lot of stuff in here. I'm not gonna read everything, but yeah, we'll get to that other one. So, I'm gonna finish up the hitting corner. Swim. Good job, can't even see me up. Let me. Okay. So, adding some of that in there. Yes, yeah, this is just raw roots. I'm gonna put a lot of dirt in there. I'm gonna put a lot of dirt. I'm actually gonna take this one out because we don't really need this. So, I'm gonna take that dirt, put it in the pots. Okay. In the pot like that. And y'all, Texas has some good soil. Like, if you want to build a garden or just plant vegetables and plants just outside in the dirt, you can because Texas soil is the bomb. It has sand in it. Really good. Okay, so I have a lot of dirt in there. I'm just gonna dig a hole so our roots can go in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So we don't really have to water the hole. Mm, make sure I'm Alright. Okay. I'm gonna use my shovel this time. So I can really get down in there. I can really get down in there. Get 
because our roots already been soaking in water. So I don't really need to add that much. Okay, so that's good. So, so now I'm just gonna make like a little container hole like that. Just make like a little hole for our roots. Look at all these roots. Okay, so we're just gonna take some. I don't want to take all of them. I'm not gonna put all of them in there. I'm gonna put some in different pots. I'm just gonna put like a little bit in there, not too much. I'll put like some of these baby ones in there. Cause you can make a lot of plants just out of just buy out of the little cuttings. So we're just gonna put that back in the water like that. And then I just wanna put them together to see this to your liking, like how much we use it. That's cute, huh? Like this. That's cute. But since it's gonna go on my shelf, I just want some little ones. I get like that one, just do a little one like that. I think I'm just gonna only do two. I think I'm gonna only do like because I don't really want like a full full one so I'm gonna do like that maybe who knows I'll probably add one like this look at this big one this is a huge one right here a huge one so we're just gonna put it in the dirt you can tie the roots around make sure it's Just pat it down. And then you have a baby. Thanks. But here is the end result. See, I wanted to have like some little babies coming out. Have our nice big leaves. We're gonna put this on the plant shelf. I'm just gonna water it a little bit on the top. <laughs> we don't pop up anywhere too much water. There we go. I'm gonna add a little bit. I think we're good. We are good to go. Okay, guys. Actually, I repotted another pot, which is the Lena Lime Philodendron. And it up with a sponge for me. When you repot plants, you get dirty. I get dirty. That sounded kind of crazy, but <laughs> that sounded crazy.
And here y'all is the plant wall shelfie. It came out so beautiful. It came out so cute. I'm really happy how I placed everything, the order, the plants, the colors, the gold, the acrylic. It really looks really great on my wall with my picture plaques. And look at the Skindapsis Pixis. Look at the Philodendron, Lemon Lime Philodendron. Look at the Hoya. It looks really well. So if you guys want more videos like this, they will be coming again. And if you want to know where I got my shelves from, I will post it down below so you can get these also. But I hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe to my channel.